Good afternoon, everyone. I love the wildlife that we have at Chigwell. There's lots of birds around, and even more at this time of year. If you have a feeder or a bird table, remember to put out a little bit more seed just to help them get through to the spring. There's also a little community of grey squirrels who live in the trees, mostly the ones away from the school buildings. Now, I know that some people don't like the squirrels. They can do a lot of damage, but I like seeing them. They're always very busy. It looks to me as if they are constantly late for an important appointment as they dash around. Yesterday, there was a squirrel down in a big tree by the pre-prep. He was on one of those big oak trees and he looked a bit agitated, running up and down the same branch. And then the moment came when he suddenly stopped, as if he was thinking, and then he took a massive leap out and up through the air onto the branch of another tree. It was a good four or five metres away. It seemed a huge distance for such a small, a small animal to jump. Now, he made it OK, but I reckon it was only just. And then, with a twitch of his bushy tail, off he went to the new tree and he disappeared. Now, I don't know why he jumped. Maybe there was something on the oak tree that I couldn't see that scared him. Or perhaps there was something tasty on the next tree. Or maybe there was a squirrel chum he wanted to visit. Whatever it was, he thought for a while about what to do, and once he decided that he could make the jump, off he went. A bit risky, no doubt, leaving the solid oak branch behind and sailing through the air. But fortunately, he had a safe landing, and the risk paid off. When we're faced with a challenge, we all have to make decisions about what to do next. Circumstances change, New opportunities arrive, a problem has to be solved, and we have to decide what we're going to do. Basically, there are always two choices. We can do nothing and hope it goes away. Effectively, that's still making a choice, and in my experience, it rarely works. Problems that are ignored generally just get bigger, and opportunities that aren't grasped usually disappear. That's why, like the squirrel, it's usually much better to gauge the risk, take a deep breath and jump. Deal with the problem then and there or grasp the opportunity. It will always involve a risk, but generally we'll find ourselves in a better place as a result. Problem dealt with, new opportunity to enjoy. You may remember the story in the Bible of David fighting the giant Goliath. This was a massive risk. Now, David was just a boy with nothing but a slingshot and a few stones in his bag. And Goliath was a huge man, heavy armour, a big sword and a spear. But David had confidence in his own ability. He weighed up the risk, he took a deep breath and stepped out in front of the giant. And as Goliath laughed at him, David put a single stone into his slingshot and he fired. And it hit the giant square in the forehead and crashed to the ground. The Philistines were defeated <clears throat> and eventually David became the king of Israel. Problem was solved and an opportunity created. If you're dealing with something difficult or there's an opportunity sitting waiting for you, remember the squirrel and remember David. Weigh up the risk and once you've decided what needs to be done, have the courage to take the jump or challenge your giant and I'd be prepared to bet you'll find yourself in a much better place than you were before. We'll say a prayer. Heavenly Father, sometimes, even though we know the right thing to do, we worry about taking the risk. Give us confidence in ourselves and our own ability, and the courage to take the leap that solves the problem or allows us to grasp the opportunity. May God bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you. May he hold you in the palm of his hand and give you his peace. Amen.